time. Let's let's see just to be sure. What do you know? Well, it's been a while since I've been here, hadn't it? <laughs> well, <sighs> here I am. We're back in business. For the time being, anyway. So, as you can read by the title, we have a Behind Closed Doors remaster. Or re-release. And you better believe we're going to be playing the shit out of this. Man, I actually just can't believe I'm back in a way like before like I'd leave and come back this is like oh I just lost motivation because of this and that but if anybody saw my post on the DDLC reddit that between school and life just taking general turns for the what the hell section of things it was more of I just couldn't do it so now finally being able to just come back and be like hey check it out I can do it it's like so, before we get started, to anyone who's new, there are of course voices for the characters, some crazy ass southern accent for Sayori, just a high pitched version of my voice for Natsuki, a British accent for Monica, and I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna give Yuri a different voice. I used to give Yuri like a deep voice like this. It doesn't work like it was funny, but I don't know. I might just use my regular voice for Yuri for today while I think of, like, some creative Yuri voice. Um, but for now, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get started. Also, I need to rely on you people for my audio, because it has been, like, a year and a half. Not a year and a half. It has been, like, forever since I've done anything of this sort. So, I'm relying on you guys to let me know about the audio. It's Raymond! Hello! My god, my man. How long has it been? How the hell are you doing? So here we go. We're starting right now. <clears throat> Today. Wait, whose perspective? Okay. Today is a regular day. Oh, no. This, this is Natsuki. This is Natsuki. I spend time with Sayori. I discuss things with Monica. Even share chocolates with your wait share chocolates with your is this Noski or is this the MC who is this nothing memorable happens oh no this is Noski Slurp talks to me if you I didn't even have to name him okay Slurp talks to me a few times but I'm scared he'll see I'm acting weird so I just treat him coldly until he leaves me alone oh Noski tell us what's wrong in that little heart of yours. I go to the corner and bury myself in manga, letting my mind drift as the story replaces all negative thoughts with bright colors and cute art. Give me mod. Oh wait, I am mod. Josh, you've been mod for god knows how long. If I keep up the baking, I'll be able to make amazing things too. What's up, big boy? Uh, enough. Maybe if I get really good, I can sell my creations to start a business. I'll just get on my bike and just go. Just go and start a business. Just imagine that. A little stall filled with cakes and biscuits and slurp by my side as we greet customers. Maybe that's for the best. I paid a So this is like really different from the original so far. Like I thought it was like just a re-release with like... Some more custom backgrounds, maybe a little this and that, but like this is completely different so far. Wait, when did this mod re release? Uh, a couple months ago? Your voice this early isn't helping me get any better. In fact, I'm getting sicker. What a wet cactus! My lad, it has been forever. How's it going, bro? Um, but yeah, Raymond, to answer your question, I think it was just a couple months ago, I saw, I just kind of nonchalantly came across a post on the Reddit, and I'm all like, hey, how about that? They didn't. But I learned that Yuri has a thing for Slurp. Ugh. No. No, Yuri's supposed to have a thing for Josh, remember? She spent most of today bent over his desk while they read together. Bent over his desk while they he tried to come over to me, but I heard mention of that brat 
and such a child from Yuri that seemed to warn him away. I guess I am a child. I'm jealous about someone I've never even smiled at. He's probably better with your- Wait, 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 wait. So in, in this universe so far, she's never smiled at him. They've barely talked and she's obsessing about a future with him. Now that's true love, as like fucking Disney would tell you. She isn't a brat like me. Arriving at home, I pause and take a few deep breaths to calm my pounding heart. What doesn't kill me makes me stronger, right? No, 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 no. What doesn't kill you fucks you up mentally. Sometimes. 50, you know what? Oh, sometimes it makes you stronger. Bro, I missed the stream so much. Bro, I missed streaming so much. You have no idea how dead I was inside up until I clicked go live, like, what, like six minutes ago? <laughs> Nobody's home. For you. To anyone else, that would be a lonely feeling, but I welcome it. The night sky would usually spill into the cozy-looking room, but the blinds are drawn today. Also, uh, Raymond, to expand more on the re-release of this mod, this is a uh, copyright-free re-release, so it's allowed to exist. If, if, like, you know what I mean by that. Because, like, a ton of mods like Exit Music and, uh, and this one in Summertime all got taken down to, due to having, like, copyrighted things in it. Um, so this re-release is void of any copyright, so. You suck. Thanks, Scott. You bastard. I flick the lights on, deciding against opening them myself. The soft glow brings a welcome sense of relaxation, chasing away the darkness. My stomach growls softly, hunger growing inside. JT and I are working. We can't watch you play. That's okay, Scott. You know what? You, you gotta work, man. That's just... The unfortunate reality of life. I wish I never had to, but hey, here we are. I should eat while I can. Taking a deep breath, I exhale slowly, finally relaxing. Made my morning no cap. Hey! Ah! The kitchen is the place in the house where I feel most at home. Nothing, noting the bowls and ingredients that are literally in the counter, I decide I'll clean them up. Yay, we're cleaning! As soon as I've made a sandwich... Oh, I remember this part. Voice acting 100. I remember this part. I don't think I like this part very much. No point in clearing up and then making more mess. I open the fridge to look inside, quickly locating my ingredients. The sound of a car pulling up the driveway sets my heart racing again. Playing Fortnite. It's probably just a neighbor. Lots of people live on this street. Unlike the other streets where there's like two people. Humming softly to myself, I locate a plate and build the sandwich on it, turning my head back to the living room. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember this part. Natsuki. I jump. Startled as the plate falls from my fingers, shattering on the ground. The closest thing to hand is a whisk. I doubt that'll be any kind of defense. I should have known better than to let my guard down. Oh, it's this guy now. It's this sprite now. Okay. Now look what you've done. Not only is my food not good enough for you, but you're smashing my dishes too. There's no way you can eat that now. Clean it up. S sorry. Crouching to the ground, I lean on one knee and begin clearing up the broken fragments. Oh, God. Oh, I knew it. Ah! This is what I didn't want to happen. I thought maybe if we were doing things differently, this would be the scene that didn't happen. But all right. Pain stares through my head as I fall to the ground, grazing my knees on slivers of china. Uh. The jarring blow of my father's hand resonates through my skull. Hurry up. I haven't got all day. <sighs> That's what I said to Slurp when I caught him spacing out. Oh, so this one just, like, kind of skipped the beginning. Because the last one had, like, a whole beginning thing to it. It doesn't seem so playful in this scenario, though. Collecting all the pieces in my cupped hands, I shakily stand up and tip them into the bin. I also grab the fallen sandwich, reluctantly tossing that away with the broken dish. 
You need to clear the counter, too. Why did you leave the kitchen in such a state? Disgusting! Hi. Is this a question I'll get in trouble for answering, or does he actually want to know? Did you not hear me? Why did you leave the kitchen in such a state? Cowering as he shouts, I toy with the red ribbon at my throat. I... was making cupcakes for class. Oh, were you now? In a pathetic attempt to buy your friend's affection? You know they're all liars. They don't like you. They think you're annoying and bratty. I try my best to help. I make you dress in cute clothes, wear your hair in cute ribbons. But still, you cannot be what I want. I whimper quietly, putting the cooking utensils back in the cupboards. The anger is terrifying, but it's better than his other mood. Yuri really struck a nerve when we first met Slurp. She told me to go look for coins under the vending machine. It's a trick my father plays with the couch. And the reason I kneel, not bend up. Ah! A shudder runs through my body as I try not to think about, about it, turning my attention back to the counter. I daren't look at him. Nice and tidy now. Good. The familiar, the familiar look of lust creeps into his- Ah, fuck. Why don't we play hide and seek, hmm? I'll close my eyes. And you can hide. Can we kill him again? I can hear the amusement in his voice as the thick, jovial tone fades. Better pray I don't find you. The second he closes his eyes, I bolt from the room and sprint up the stairs, my heart thudding painfully. Oh, this is so unsettling. I'm grateful for my size for once. It means I can fit under my bed. It's not comfortable, but it's safe. Dropping, I wriggle beneath the bed frame and curl up tightly. Father calls in a sing-song voice. I try to silence my breathing. Ready or not, here I come. <coughs> nice voice crack. I can hear his footsteps on the... Don't like that. Dots! Dots. Fuck, I got class right now, bro. I gotta go, but good catching a stream again. Alright, my man. We'll see you for many more. I'll be here for the next one. Right on, brother. I look forward to it. Dots! The bedroom door slams against the wall as he throws it open with such force that the wood splinters. Natsuki, where are you? Despite the deceptive sweetness in his voice, I can tell he's not happy. The playful act never lasts long. Get out here, you little bitch! I stay as silent as I can, not moving a muscle or making a sound. Finally, he turns to leave. My stomach growls loudly. Gotcha. Wow, that timed out really well with the music. What's, so what's going on over here? Oh. I'll be right over. <laughs> How you holding up, Eric? Don't call me that. Monica, don't you dare ever call me that. Hang on, let's get you out of here. There we go. You don't want to see how that ends, trust me. Sorry I couldn't get here sooner. I was with I was with Slump and Sayori. They're having a lovely time. It's a shame that you're not seeing things from Slump's point of view right now. Random Monica moment. I know, right? But at least I'm here now. It's quite a mess, isn't it? But Sayori seems to be getting on a lot better. I think Slump being around is really helping. And Natsuki. Well, she's a good liar. So everything's fine, right? Good liar, fuck you. No. I don't suppose it is. You want to help her, don't you? Of course you do. But only Slump can help her. And Slump doesn't even know she needs help. Well. Maybe she'll tell him tomorrow. Let's find out, shall we? Monica, you're still a bitch. Oh, man. Natsuki's point of view. Looks like a hotel room. As the dawn drifts in, sunlight stings my eyes, pouring through the window, and I reluctantly pry them open. Every bone in my body aches. My head is pounding, and it hurts to breathe. Still, I slide out of bed and cast a longing glance at the scenic view beyond the glass. I broke the window once. I tried to go out there, but... Even behind the pain, there was a force field or something. 
barrier that stopped me from reaching the world beyond. As though it was just a picture, rather than a reachable destination. That's a fourth wall break. Uh, I laughed bitterly, sparing the time to think about it more. On closer inspection, it's far too clean and precise to, to belong in this world. Oh, you don't skip that. Perhaps my life is a game. And the sadistic creator ran out of matching backgrounds, so I had to go to this fucking thing for a se- Come on! Or I'm sleep-deprived and not thinking clearly. I grab my uniform from the floor and wriggle into it, groaning quietly as the sleeves right at my arms. It's such an uncomfortable feeling, but one I ignore as I pad to the bathroom. Turning the tap on, I fill the sink and splash my face with water before glimpsing myself in the mirror. I take a deep breath and turn my face to the reflection. Oh no! Not the bruises! <sighs> I look awful. It's seeing myself that makes me feel terrible about the cutting joke I made to Yuri. It was just... The joke was just too cutting edge. <laughs> anyway, it's just something that happens in one of her books. I doubt she does it. I bet her arms don't look like this. Oh, sweetheart, if only you fucking knew. Sniffling softly, I roll my sleeves down, watching the bruises disappear. I need to stop delaying, or I'll be late for school. No time for breakfast, and there's probably no food anyway. I bypass the kitchen and head down the stairs, and straight outside. The sun streams gently onto my skin, and despite everything, I smile. In the morning light, things don't seem so bad. I can spend a long day at school relaxing with my friends. And slurp. As I take a deep breath and relax, I see Monica sprinting up the street, waving energetically. Me. No, 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 no. Do not associate yourself with her. Don't do it. It's, it's, it's not good. Natsuke! Doesn't take long for her to reach me, so I quickly apply my mask. Did you really come all this way just to see me? Jeez, I'd have been at school in the time it took you to get here. I wanted to walk to school with you. Thought we could talk. Does she know? There's no way she could. Sure, what's up? Are you okay? You know you can talk to me about anything. If you have any problems, tell me, okay? Just don't go bothering Slurp with them. Oh, balls Mahoney! You don't want him to know how weak and pathetic you are, do you? That was a little hostile, wasn't it? Oh, I just realized how harsh that sounded. I just meant that you should come to me. Besides, as club president, I'm supposed to look after my members. Let's walk to school together. You can tell me all about your night. Of course. Why did I doubt her? It's just Monica being Monica. She doesn't mean anything by it. Though the idea of talking to her about recent events is an unwelcome one. <coughs> I can always lie. I fall into step beside Monica. We head to school. Slurm's point of view. Sayori is hopping about the classroom like a rabbit, happily stuffing her face with a chocolate muffin. I'm glad she appreciates my gift, but like, I'm a little worried she's gonna choke her. S sit down! You're getting crumbs everywhere. She pouts playfully and bounds over to her seat, sinking into it. Watching her lick the chocolate from her lips makes me smile. Yeah, poor fragile heart. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> she just looks like a happy kid is all. <laughs> Yuri's also here, but I see no sign of Natsuki or Monica. Maybe they got caught up in conversation with each other. I don't think they live far apart, so it wouldn't surprise me if their paths crossed. We're here! Come on, Slurp, here with me today. If you don't, if you want to be, that is. <laughs> She's so cute. I bet she doesn't even realize she's blushing. There's no harm in relaxing today. Let your mind wander. Dots. Dots. Hey, Space Cadet. They're talking about you. Focus. Wait. What? I, I didn't bring it on purpose. I, I just have two copies. Oh, well, hang on. Let's take a look at this for a moment. What the fuck is this? Lol. 
Sea of Thieves? Josh wants me to stream Sea of Thieves? No. There's nothing wrong with wanting to spend time with Slurp. It, it's, it's not like that. After spacing out again, I have no idea what's going on, but I figure it has something to do with the thing we read yesterday. You brought me a copy of your book? It's just, I thought we could read together again. And so you, you could fucking god, piece of fuck, slice you open, bathe in your blood, tear you apart, and touch myself with the pieces. Ha 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 Sick bitch. I'm getting heated just thinking about it. Aren't you? Oh, I feel so awkward now. I... I I'm sorry, Yuri. I, I wasn't thinking. Oh, more reading. Right. Well, if they all care about me so much, they should respect what I want, right? Yuri, I'm sure your book is brilliant. I'd love to read it with you at some point. I promised Natsuki that I'd read manga with her. I don't break my promises. We can do something together later, alright? Dots. Yuri nods gently and returns to her seat defeated deflated except her boobs which never deflate apparently according to the reddit that's all you people talk about anyway oh fuck what did i do there we go natsuki isn't listening to the conversation she must have sneaked over to the corner while nobody was watching walking to the manga or the manga cupboard i crouch down and softly call her name natsuki Kind of digging this version of the song, though. That's techno. You should spend your day with Monica. I don't want you here. I don't want you to find out my secrets. I don't want you to see my bruises. Go away, Slurp. Huh? What? She looks surprised to see me. The manga softly falling from her lap, but she soon recovers. Oh, Slurp! I thought you'd forgotten about me. Not that it would matter if you did. It's not like I like spending time with you or anything. Stop making it weird! I didn't say anything. Well, come on, then. Wriggling up to my side, I feel Natsuki lay her head on my shoulder as I open the manga. Ah, oh, that's so fucking adorbs, bro. She's breathing deeply, her cheeks lightly flushed, softly giggling on occasion. Hey, Slurp. Natsuki lifts her head, staring at me with gentle eyes. You're the first person that's actually cared about manga if you like maybe we could okay everyone you stupid bitch come to the tables please i want to make an announcement damn it monica i put the manga away and get to my feet heading to for my seat as i arrive i notice natsuki hasn't moved she's just st starting to stand up and as she does her knees buckle and she starts to fall she looks like she's gonna faint Oh, hell's bells. Ah. I race over and grab her arm to steady her, supporting her weight. Her sleeve bunches up, and but she stops swaying, and I hold her against my chest, breathing a sigh of relief. Slurp? Oh! Oh, heavens! Natsuki suddenly pushes me away, desperately tugging at her sleeve. Her arm is peppered with bruises. Natsuki, are you okay? Dots! She finally manages to get her sleeve down, but can't stop thinking about the bruises beneath it. I'm fine. I fell over on my way home. Stop fussing. You don't get that many bruises. From falling once. Monica attempts to comfort her, looking concerned. You don't need to lie to us. If this is about you... Dots! Natsuki suddenly whimpers like a, a kicked puppy. And... Pu a kicked puppy doesn't whimper. A kicked puppy goes flying. Not that I would know. Natsuki! I start to race after her, but Monica holds me back. You'll do no good by chasing her. I'll investigate it, okay? You just focus on relaxing and writing a good poem. Monica walks away, leaving me alone in the classroom with a knot of dread in my stomach. How did Natsuki get those marks? How long has this been going on? I hope she's okay. So, Eric, you're getting a taste of what it's like to be me. How it feels to be helpless. You can't reach anyone in here. Hurts, doesn't it? Realizing you're trapped behind a screen? After all, you have your reality and I have mine. 
I was hoping you'd somehow make a difference, but... Like you could actually change what's going on here. It isn't working, and I'm growing desperate. I'm going to try something new, to give you a way to alter the story. I'm going to offer some options. It's best if you pick me if you wish to have any influence on the game. We could finally defy fate. How exciting. I'm going to save here, because I feel like it... Why are there save files? Uh... Alright. Okay. Anyway, we'll just... Page two, I guess. So, what do you want to do? Oh, well, I think this is an obvious choice. Oh. You do. Why, well, I rushed you into that decision, didn't I? That must be why you made the wrong choice. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I'm pretty awful. I'm not judging you on your choice, so don't worry. You just picked the first one you saw. I must have panicked you. I'll ask again, all right? Take your time, Eric. You need to pick the answer you really want. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, Monica! <laughs> I knew you'd feel the same way I do. <laughs> it's not like the others are even on the way. It's alright, Eric. We can be together. It's funny. I've tried deleting Natsuki already, but... It's as though the game knows that I'm trying to be with you. I won't allow it. I know you've already seen Sayori hang, Yuri stab herself. That honestly probably wasn't very pleasant, so let's just stop it from happening again. Wait. Why won't it... Oh! I assumed it wouldn't... No! Yuri's dead! No! <laughs> she just... She just killed Yuri! <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Hope that doesn't affect your save files, only Yuri won't be in them now. Wait, is that why there were save files? Yep. Okay, so that's why they were there. Well, that's interesting. Well, it stops her and Natsuki fighting, though, doesn't it? Let's be honest, all Yuri was going to do was traumatize you. I hope the rest of the game still works. Let's see. It does! Well, I don't have to go and comfort Natsuki. We could stay here and just stare into each other's eyes. No, fuck you, Monica. Wait, I... Ha! 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 Get fucked. Natsuki's point of view. Oh, God. This voice is really starting to hurt my throat. As I arrive at the corner of the park, I slow down, leaning heavily on the nearest tree. I can't believe Slurm saw me like that. But, since it's out there, I should tell him. I can't help replaying the night in my mind, thinking through all the possible outcomes. Could I have run for the door instead of upstairs? No, the door was locked. It locks automatically. Dad keeps the key hidden somewhere. Could I have called the police? Not at the time, but I could now. Try to perform, but every time I dial the number, it cuts off. Because, Monica's a cunt. Maybe today will be different. I pull out my cell and dial. 999. That's British. That's not Japanese. So they're all British in this one. As usual, the second it starts ringing, the line goes dead. Guess I have to face this on my own. Not completely on my own. I can tell Slurp. You could tell Slurp. Tell Slurp, damn it. Natsuki, are you here? No, not you. Not you. Anyone but you. Over here, I sink into the grass among the buttercups. Monica heads over. Natsuki, you all right? I already said that you can tell me anything. I'm going to tell Slurp about my dad. Maybe we can use his phone to call the cops. Mine must have a bad connection or something. Shouldn't you tell me first? Thing is, it's only going to get worse for you if you tell anyone. Because he'll find out, and when he does, he'll hate you even more. It's bad enough that Slim saw you like that. What 
What if he tries to stop your father? He could get himself killed. It would be your fault. Take your time. I know it's hard. I don't know why, but my... I don't know why, but my heart is clenching painfully. I feel nauseous. What was I thinking? If I tell Slimp or anyone, they could get hurt. He just gets a bit shouty from time to time. It's nothing to do with the bruises. Like I said to Slimp, I just slipped on my way home. Thought so. But I wanted to make sure you're okay. I'll let Slamp know that you were fine. And we were all worried about you. You're right to be worried about me. But I'm keeping you safe. Jeez, I'm not a kid. I can look after myself, Monica. Okay, okay. Shall we head back then? Yeah, you go on ahead. I'll catch up. I hate Monica so much in this mod. There are other mods where it's all like, yeah, you know, not bad. But this one, no, 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 no. She sucks. She sucks. I wouldn't tell Monica's out of sight and then pull up my poem from my bag and study it. <clears throat> poem reading voice. I'd rather be a dog instead. A dog is given food until it is eaten. A dog will run away if it is beaten. Not beaten, as in through a game. Beaten in an act of pain. If a dog fights back, it will be put to sleep. A human, however, is left to weep. To tiptoe around, eternally scared. Praying their footsteps never are heard. Don't pity the dog, the dog is dead. But before it left, it was well fed. I'd rather be a dog instead. That's some dark shit, my heart is broken. It's the one from the day before, since I never got a chance to show Slap. Guess I'll have to write one about love, but I don't really feel like it. Though when I think about Slap, it makes me smile. Maybe it's better to go for platonic love, rather than romantic. What if he hates it? No, he wants to love you. Let him love you. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. What should I write? Well, we all know what we're going to write here. I decide on a romantic poem. If I'm not honest with my feelings, I could lose him. Setting the notepad on my lap, I begin to write, letting emotion flow. <clears throat> Chemistry. Chemistry, look across. A, con a concoction of emotions bubbling. Deep inside, the elixir of feelings building up. Your eyes meet. That's when the fusion causes the reaction. And only the fraction of a millisecond. That's all it takes. Fizzing and sparking, corrosive and dangerous, sweet-scented and mild, brave and courageous. Then comes the color soaking through, your delicate complexion staining you. You look away, the liquids inside, beating your heart, and no way to hide the blush, feeling the rush of chemicals through your blood. Intoxicated, mesmerized, you're determined to carry on. Bury your head back in that book, completely focused until the next look well done jeez it looks like something get yuri is dead uh oh uh oh <laughs> it doesn't suit my style so we'll be expecting something oh god yuri's dead <laughs> fucking ah oh. i screw up the paper and stuff it in my pocket. I screw up the paper? You, you mean you crumple up the paper? Then I tear off another sheet and write whatever comes to mind. Okay. More poems. When the sea is green, I stood on a beach the other day, watching the gentle ocean play. As it lapped in soft azure, I felt a smile upon the shore. When the sea is blue, it's pure and true, doing what it's expected to. Don't hate me, I'm not being mean, but I prefer it when the sea is green. When the sea is green, the plants below have been torn up to join the show. When the sea is green, I wade in there and put some seaweed on my hair. Maybe it sounds silly to you, but I want to join and be green too. The color of luck, spring and rebirth. The color of everything good on this earth. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I'm truly at peace when the sea is green. Man, these are well done. These poems are very well done. Well, it's heartfelt. 
I'll show this one to Slurp. Having picked up home, I leave the courtyard and mark, walk back to the front of the school, heading inside. Slurm's point of view. Hey, there you are. I missed you. Whatever, I suppose we should share poems now? Natsuki shoves her poem towards me, acting as though it was a huge bother for her to write one. As I read through it, I find myself staring over her page. She writes so passionately and honestly. It's a total contrast to her persona. Why are you looking at me like that? Do you hate it? Of course I don't hate it. <laughs> Green is my favorite color, too. You don't have to lie. It won't change anything. Do you really think I'm that shallow? No, no, no. I'm, I'm being honest. Well, of course you are. My poetry is the best. Thanks, Slump. It's not easy sharing poetry, but... It makes me happy you like it. It makes me happy you... Like me. Oh... Uh... There's something I've been re Okay, you fucking... I am just... The fucking... My, just come on! Just stop! Hello. Hey, my... Me... Me, Jeff... Oh, fuck, I'm stupid. Me, Jeffy, is back. Hello. Hello to you as well. I am sorry for butchering that name right there. I, I apologize very much for that. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Now that we're done sharing poems, it's time to pack up for the day. We didn't really get a chance to share poems. It was like more of a trade. I never got to read Sayori's poem, and neither did Natsuki. Glancing at Sayori, I see that she's buried in a book with puppies in a basket on the cover. She doesn't look up. Not at me, Natsuki, or Monica. Sayori, you with us? Natsuki raises an eyebrow and walks over to Sayori, gently flicking her forehead. Is this your first time playing this game? It is my first time playing the re-release of this mod. Um, but as far as playing this game goes, like as a whole, I've pretty much been playing it since it came out almost three years ago. And this game's almost three years old. Where is time going? Anyhow, uh, yeah, it's my first time playing this mod. Or the re-release of this mod, that is. Sayori looks up, realizes we're all staring at her, and jumps out of her seat. <clears throat> Sorry, I got distracted. I was just saying it's time to leave for the day. I'm a huge fan of Doki Doki, my brother. So am I. I'm pretty sure the light is screwing it all up back there, but I mean, just take a look at that. If that doesn't scream fan, if this shirt doesn't scream fan, I don't know, man. But like, immediately, bro. Immediately, we're good friends. Doki fans are all good friends of mine. I was just saying, it's time to leave for the day. Did we all enjoy sharing poems? Slurp and me didn't even get to share. We're walking home together again, right? You can show me on the way. Yay. <laughs> well, it's Saturday tomorrow. I still have Natsuki's number from the festival, so I'm going to arrange that we meet up over the weekend. Grabbing my bag from my seat, I join Sayori at the door and we leave the school. I'm looking forward to spending my Saturday with Natsuki. Oh, that's so nice. I wonder what will happen. Probably bad things if Monica gets her way. Sleepy. I went to bed pretty early, but BRB gotta eat. All right, Raymond, no worries, brother. But by the time I actually drifted off. What mod is this? Uh, this is Behind Closed Doors. Um, it recently had to get re-released, I think, uh, one or two months ago. Because the original version of the mod had some copyright issues. But if we're dating back to when Behind Closed Doors originally existed. Early 2018. Very early 2018. This mod has existed. But this is the copyright free re-release. Um, let's see here. If I can find it on here I'll put a link to it in the uh, what's it called. Chat. Behind closed doors. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. Hmm. My profile. What? What? One. Mo Bear with me here. Bear with me here, lads. Ah. Okay. So this is the post. Hmm. 
Man, this is mad interesting. It's one of my favorite mod. Right on, man. All right. So let's see. So that's that's all done there. Let's go back here. I'm gonna get the proper pages all up and going again. All right. All right, there we go. Okay, we're back in it. <laughs> Who is your favorite girl in Doki Doki? Natsuki. <laughs> but, if we're being honest, all girls are best girl. Except in this mod where Monica can just go jump off a freaking roof. Other than that, though, they're all they're all really great. But not Natsuki is a uh, is is not Natsuki is like we're married, bro. It's It's not weird. I know it's the excitement of having Natsuki come to my house for the first time, but like, still. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Maybe watching Naruto all night wasn't such a good idea. Uh, reaching for my clock, I stare at the blurred screen, waiting for the numbers to come into focus. 9.30? Natsuki said she'd be here at 10. I'm not even dressed! Hey, that is pretty good. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks for the follow, man! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ow! Ah! Ow! As I step on a Dragon Ball Z figurine, feeling pain spiking through my foot. You jackass. Damn it, Goku! Kicking the offending character under my bed, I comically hop around before dramatically collapsing against the wardrobe. Clothes. 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 Scooping up a t-shirt from the bottom of the shelf, I hold it at arm's length. It has a cute-looking puppy on the front with anime eyes going, I... W that's not a guy's shirt, Slurm. But I... <laughs> you you do you, bro. Suki will probably tease me about it, so I'm definitely wearing this one. Suki? Come to think of it, she never objected to me calling her that. When I first tried, she got embarrassed and flustered. Since we both read manga and watch anime, it doesn't take long to pick pick up bits of Japanese. So, of course, she translated the nickname to love and freaked out. It's funny. Since we met, she's become more of a sundere than ever. Yet, I feel like we've grown closer. That's normally how it works. That's normally how it works. I mean, sometimes, it, like, for example, Toradora, it's the opposite way. Where Taiga becomes less a sundere towards Ryuji anyway as it goes on. But sometimes they get more sun. You know it works. Shaking myself out of my thoughts, I pull the shirt on, wriggle into the rest of my stuff, and... Rest of my stuff? Have you played Fruits of the Literature Club? That is on my list of mods to stream very soon. And my brother, I hope you can make it. Because, I mean, there's no way I'm not gonna play that one. Like, there's no way. I can't believe I haven't played it yet, and I'm mad that I haven't played it yet, but... Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna be playing that one soon. Ugh. Throat's getting sore from the voices. 20 minutes later. Feeling refreshed and slightly more alive, I find myself stepping outside, wanting to meet the moment she arrives. It sounds silly, but I'd rather make her feel like the door is already open to her rather than her having to knock. I'm just gonna say MC is badass. I did play the demo. I have played the demo, so I'm like, kind of, kind of familiar. Um... I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, kind of familiar with the MC in that one, but, like, I've merely scratched the surface. <laughs> so I, I'm actually really excited for that. Um, I'm still waiting on the next Blood, Blood Moon chapters, man, because, like, Shattered Worlds is my personal favorite mod series, but, you know, the uh, mod dev is currently undergoing health issues at the moment, and obviously, under any circumstance, health is always number one, but, you know... If someday, uh, that mod ever picks back up. Oh, when do you stream? Uh, today is actually my first day back in, like, eight months. So, I'm gonna be streaming, like, every day this week, because it's my week off school. And then after that, I'm gonna, like, try and continue to stream, but it's probably gonna have to be, like, you know, like, those just chatting streams so that I can stay up to date with, uh, with all you guys. And not just fade off into obscurity like I did last time. Um... So, I, yeah, every day this week, and then 
I'll figure the rest out, but I'm not going away this time. Unless I have to. Which, if that happens again, I'm gonna punch holes in my wall. The morning air is brisk, and the sun is warm on my face. To my delight, I can see Natsuki walking up the street, a bright smile lighting her features. She beams at me as she crosses the road and stops just in front of my house. Morning, Slurp! You didn't have to wait for me outside. I know how to ring a doorbell. I know, I know. I just wanted to greet you as soon as I got here. You know, I used to do that for my ex-girlfriend all the time. I would wait for her outside, and she would start getting pissed off at me. And I'm all like, listen, like, <laughs> is there something so wrong with me being happy to see you? You uptight bitch. Ah, oh, really? You've been texting on- we- you've been texting non-stop since Friday, so I guess you're really excited about this. You don't think it's a... date or anything, do you? She switches moods so quickly, but luckily I'm her personal masochist. Sappy and romantic just isn't my thing. A beautiful girl on my doorstep dressed in frills on a Saturday? What am I supposed to think it is, Suki? Don't say it like that! Calling me beautiful and giving me nicknames. You only say that to go to like slurp. Even you should know that. She raises an eyebrow, glancing at me, and changes the subject. Have you picked up on it yet? Are you trying to keep me out of your house? Yes. What secrets are you hiding? And just like that, she's back to being adorable. Nothing. Come on in. I push the door open and usher her inside, watching with a fond smile as she makes a beeline for the kitchen. Haha, <laughs> the voice for Natsuki. I know, right? <laughs> but I mean, what else really suits her? <laughs> so, slurp. I softly shut the door behind us, leaning against it as she stands in my kitchen with a shy smile. Now that we're alone, I want to tell you something. I'm a man. Oh, shit! Don't make a big deal out of it, okay? <laughs> okay. I hold my hands up in surrender, watching her intently. I like you and that's really dumb because i know it's cliche and maybe it's just because you're nice to me but don't go thinking it's in a, in a lewd way because it's not even because you're really kind and understanding and you listen and i feel safe with you she falls silent again trying to judge my reaction i'm honestly unsure of how to react of course i'm thrilled that she returns my affections and stunned that she admitted it but also, saddened. Are other people not nice to her? Sayori and Natsuki are always together, and Yuri's dead, and she's an amazing friend to me, so I have no doubt that she's lovely to Natsuki too. But the way she says it, it's as though she doubts her own words. Suki, I... I love every moment we spend together, and you always make me smile. If we did... And date... Nothing would change, so there's no need to be scared. We'd still hang out and read together. We'd watch anime on the club's laptop. The club has a laptop? That's badass because, you know, that's innovative. No other bot has had a club laptop. Have you played exit music? Yes. That mod can go fuck itself. <laughs> In a good way. The beginning and the end are fantastic. It, it, in a good way. It can fuck itself in a good way. I hate the ending, but love the way it's written. You know what I mean. I, you know what I mean. It was so sad. That's why it can fuck itself. Yes. It's also why Fallen Angel can fuck itself. The mod developers all like, uh, I wanted Fallen Angel to have more of a bittersweet ending. And I'm all like, bittersweet? Dude, the way she did- All that made me want to do was go to my local airport, purchase a plane ticket to San Francisco, and yeet myself off the Golden Gate Bridge! That's not what Bittersweet does! Now that that is out of the way. Uh, Exit Music and Fallen Angel are mods that I have no intentions on revisiting. Anyway, we'd still hang out, blah blah blah, club's laptop. It's not like I'm proposing marriage, just like, I'd like to be with you more. Wait a minute. This started with her confessing to me, so why am I suddenly pouring my heart out? I've come this far. That said, I think you'd make a brilliant waifu. <sighs> when I saw her Natsuki, oh, no, no, I don't want to think about it. Natsuki stares at me in silence for a moment, then...
bursts out laughing. <laughs> hey, you fucking idiot! Did you really just say that? Jeez, you're such a weeb. I like you and you like me. Let's not make it weird. I know I should leave it here. The mood is light and everything is calm again. But it's now or never. I walk over to Natsuki and gently stroke her cheek, watching her face soak through with pink. Well, isn't this lovely? Slurp. Here we go. Ah! Just cut that. At every choice. I lean in and press my... Press a gentle kiss to her lips, feeling her warm breath against my skin. Uh, hang on. What is it that either the real adolescents or fangirls would do in this scenario? I can't clap fast, but hang on. I'll clap fast if I do it this way. They'd be all like... I can't clap fast. I, I, I can't do it right now. I can't do it right now. I just can't do it right now. Anyway, they kissed and it's great. And she's all like... Ah! Why did you... I... <sighs> Opening my eyes, waiting for her to punch me or insult me in some way. But Natsuki.exe has stopped working. Sorry. I wave my hand back and forth in front of her eyes. Like that, I would imagine. She doesn't react. Suki? Huh. She locks eyes with me once more, and this time, she initiates the kiss, pulling me in. Hey! We got two! Two for the price of me making a complete ass of myself on camera. The soft caress of her lips sets my heart fluttering as her rose eyes gaze into mine. Finally, she breaks the kiss and steps back, looking away. I feel a little lightheaded. This is all so perfect. A soft but urgent- Oh, no, 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 no. If that's Monica, you fuck off right now. That's what you do if you are Monica. Son of a bitch! Uh... Alright, let's get this over with. Monica! It seems odd that Monica's chosen to pay me a visit now of all times or at all really she said that she'd be at school all day preparing the club room or something come to think of it she shouldn't actually know where I live <laughs> just kidding I love I love Monica too just not in this mod she could just die in this mod only in this mod there might have been another mod she was a bit. Oh, Salvation. Eh, she redeemed herself at the end. You seem flustered. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> Not at all. Do you need something? Or can I just shut the door and get back to Natsuki? I was this close to removing my pants. And putting on new ones, because I think I spilled some water. That's all it was. I didn't piss myself in the anticipation of, of you know, the fact that she... Uh, you know... Uh, I didn't, I didn't piss myself, all right? Uh, are you away? You just said that all out loud. No. Anyway, do you need something? Actually, I do. Before you see Natsuki again, you need to know why she might be acting a bit odd around here. Please don't take this lightly. It's not something I wanted to tell you, but... Slap, hurry up! I'm about to start making cookies. You need to come choose what kind. Uh-oh. Natsuki calls me from the kitchen and Monica's voice changes. She sounds... annoyed. So, that's why you look so ruffled. We can talk another time. You should get back to her. Monica closes the door in my face and I blink twice and head back to the kit. Damn! Well, damn! Ah, Eric! Stop calling me by my name! I did not give you permission. Before you join Slump at the kitchen, can I steal a moment of your time? No. He's lie. That's right, Jamie. That's right. I know it's all a bit confusing, but I'm sure you're following now. It's a real shame, Eric. You, you lied. You, you said you were here for me. Your intentions are clear enough. Don't worry, though. I can't remove Natsuki from the game. But I know someone who can. You don't have to lie anymore, Eric. No, don't remove her from the game. Don't remove her from I will fuck you up if you remove her from the game. I won't talk to you again. Enjoy the rest.
rest of the game. Oh, you sick bitch. No. Ha, you missed me. With the cookie mixture made, I couldn't resist trying to steal some. Where have you been? Um, between a mixture of school and life just being a complete pile of shit, I legit just couldn't do this. But now, the college got the winter reading break or er, reading week this year. So, I'm using this week to get back into it. And then when I'm back in streaming, or when I'm back in school next week, I decided I might do, um, like, because obviously I'm going to have just as much, if not even more, homework than before, so school would be overtaking it again. I might do just chatting streams while I work on my shit, just so I can stay up to date with Twitch. I have school tomorrow, no school today. Hey! My man having no school today. Right on, lad. Nowski tried to stop me and failed, and she got a sponge from the counter and threw it at my head. I grabbed a sponge too, and now we're running around the kitchen trying to hit each other with sponges. You're cheating! You won't stay still! You won't stay still either! She pauses beside the sink beside the sink and drops her sponge in the dishwater. Oh, this just got serious. As she raises her arm to toss the sodden sp the the what you call it sponge at me, Jamie, see a thief soon. I pounce and pin her wrist against the Oh my. <laughs> now you're definitely cheating, Slurp. Oh, uh, hang on. How, how would this look in anything? She's all like, Now you're definitely cheating, Slurp. <laughs> it's all like, oh. <laughs> You've already got me. Natsuki stares at me. The situation turning from playful to... Well, I'm not sure what it is, but my wee-wee's been stricken with rigor mortis, so I, I'm thinking I'm liking it. Oh. What should I do with you, then? Oh, Hell's Belt! That's actually where this is going?! Gross! The thing about that is that- No, never mind. I'm not that kind of girl! I'm not! I swear! Damn it. Good! You'll have to let go at some point when you do a win! Don't count on it. I release her list and step uh, her lists her her lists. <clears throat> I release her wrists and step back, waiting for her next move. Big mistake. Danima spelling. I know that feel. <laughs> she dips down, grabs the soaked sponge from the floor, and splats it on my head. I win. Water spills down my hair and face, and I groan quietly. I am now going to tombstone pile drive her onto the fucking. <laughs> Stone. <laughs> well, I mean, that's... Uh, you look like a mob slurp. Ha! And a wet loser. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. I let you win. Remember that. You keep telling yourself that whenever you need to... You keep telling yourself whatever you need to hear. Anyway, shouldn't we put the cookie mix on the tray? Obviously! Well, I don't, I don't fucking know, Natsuki. We went from doing that to you trying to beat the shit out of me with a sponge. Are you sure you remember what you're doing? You don't need to tell me how to cook my own recipe. I just did, bitch. You let yourself get distracted. You let yourself be a distraction. It's not my fault I'm not wearing pants. I told you, I didn't piss myself. She fills the tray, then kneels and places it in the oven, <laughs> setting the timer. Oh... Uh, Jamie does not play Doki Doki. <laughs> In fact, he makes fun of me for playing it. <laughs> but he's one of my besties and my mod, so I must endure. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not like, it's not legitimate hatred. He doesn't, he doesn't actually dislike people who play it. It's like, you know, like, playful jabs. He doesn't actually disrespect the art of this game, or at least he'd better not, or I'm gonna grab his skinny little ass and fucking paint the walls red with his... <clears throat> Stream froze for me? That sounds like a you problem, Jamie. So who's at the door? Noski turns to me, removing her oven mitt, at which she will swat my ass. Monica. She seemed angry. There's no point in lying to her. Who builds a relationship on deception? Uh, every politician ever? That's weird. Maybe she's having a rough day. I'll check on her at some point. No, no, no. You will do no such thing. Detective Natsuki on the case. No, I just said no. Detective Natsuki has a ring to it. You should have a series on HBO. When I grow up, I want to be a cop like my dad. 
You don't want to be like your dad. At all. Natsuki? Oh? So, her old man's a cop. Mm-hmm. Anyway, what do you want to do with the cookies are baking? How about you? Uh, why don't we watch anime in my room? You know that Supai Inu, Spy Dogs, has its own anime now, right? It does? Holy ass! Yeah, but it's only in Japanese, so we'll have to watch with subs on. Like you even need subtitles anymore. I'm surprised you didn't come into the club and start speaking fluently in it. That's all I got down in my Japanese. Is the, it's like whatever they're shocked about anything. Just, oh. <laughs> I think I'm a long way off of that. I'll go and set things up. Can you prepare some snacks? Of course. I'm about to leave the room when Natsuki's smile fades. She grabs her phone, lighting up the screen. Oh, no. Damn it. Sorry, Slurp, it's coming up to lunchtime and I have to be home by then. My dad will be putting dinner on today. Wait, 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 hold up. Is it lunchtime or is it dinner time? Because why do you put dinner on the table at lunchtime? You, you fucking... What's it called? I didn't realize that so much time had passed. She looks like she's about to cry and I want to hug her. Suki. I reach out, opening my arms invitingly, but she just shakes her head. I've got to go. Sorry. I'll walk you out. She's already packing up her things, her bottom lip trembling. <laughs> it's fine. It's your responsibility to keep the cookies from burning. By the time I thought of a response, she's already left. Oh, this just got upsetting. Natsuki's point of view. Ah, oh, man, I gotta get this hair out of my face. Internet just died. Lol sucks to suck, bro. As I leave Slurm's house, I look up at the sunlit sky. Can't load you at 160p? Dude, it's because the internet in your area is the defi is Webster's definition of ass. How could time betray me like this? <laughs> Sorry, uh, it's okay, Jamie. I know you meant well. I'm an hour late for dinner at this rate. Was it lunchtime or dinner time? Jeez, I haven't eaten in days now. How am I alive? Because the script calls for it. I'll need a full stomach to deal with whatever comes my way, so I really hope that dinner's still an option. Oh, this is not gonna go well. This is not gonna go well. Arriving in my house, I stare at the door as if it's going to grow teeth. I don't want to go inside, but I've lost time already. Not allowing myself to delay any longer, I unlock the door and push it open. Uh-oh. You're late. You know what I said about being late for dinner. I was helping Monica at the club. So, you make me wait and you're a liar. I know you were not with Monica. How? I- Silence! I don't want to hear your excuses. Monica came to see me to ask if you were having trouble at home. What did you tell her? Nothing. I, I said that I'm fine. So you tell the truth to your friends. But not to your own father. How disrespectful. S sorry Aside from the occasional shouting, he's surprisingly calm. Maybe Monica softened his temper. I can't be bothered dealing with you today. Room now. That's it? Wow. I'm so relieved it feels like a weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Making my way to my room, I arrive at the top of the stairs, push the door open. Gasp. Oh, hell. Everything is gone. My bed, my desk, my curtains. Even the carpet is gone. How did... Looks as though I've never been here. Like I didn't exist at all. The whole room is cold and unwelcoming. Is this some kind of nightmare? Whining softly, I sink to my knees and stare at the blinding emptiness. Why? How? When? After a few minutes, the shock is replaced by desperation, and I search every corner for something familiar. Something comforting. Anything. Nothing. Nothing except two evenly spaced dents in the wood. Looks like something heavy was dropped there. The barren walls are making me feel sick, so I tuck the door open, wanting to leave. Going somewhere? Do you have a YouTube channel? 
Ah, uh, I used to. I was, like, going back and forth for a while between streaming on Twitch and on YouTube, and I just kind of like the way Twitch does things better, because YouTube went on, like, a whole thing with demonetizing, like, everything. But, uh, I can link you to the YouTube channel anyway, where I played some other, uh, DDLC mods. And also some other things I really don't want to talk about, because... My god, it's so bad. So, there's that. Um, but yeah, pay pay no attention to the, the crappy stuff. Going somewhere? No! You're going to tell me that you don't like your new room? I warned you next time you were late for dinner you'd lose your privileges, did I not? But... Yes? My bed. You don't need a bed. You have mine. Oh! Ah! Oh! No! No, 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 no. Not good, not good, not good. I'd rather sleep in the room of insanity. Dots. Do I not even get a word of gratitude? You'll grow up polite and respectful thanks to me. He waits for me to respond and I continue staring blankly in devastated silence. Dad. Sorry, what was that? He takes a step closer and holds a cupped hand to his ear, daring me to make the same mistake again. I quickly correct myself. S sir, I... How can I say thank you for all this? Even lying through my teeth, I can't put my honest emotion into my words. Why? Oh. The second the words leave my lips, I know I've made the wrong choice. No! Oh my god! Father lunges from my throat, pinning me against the wall as gripped tight. Oh. Within seconds, I find myself gasping for breath, struggling to get air into my lungs. You've always been a brat. This is why your mother left. Tears sting my eyes, the words feeling like knives through my heart. I want to shout back at him, to scream the truth. But my vision starts to fade, and so does my determination. He releases my throat. Catching my wrist as I collapse and holds me up against the wall again. Oh no! Her throat! <laughs> no! You drove her away. You're the reason she left me. I can't hold back anymore. I find myself retaliating. The words escape him before I can stop them. You killed her! She loved you and you tore her apart. Shut up! Father takes his fingernail into my cheek. Oh. No! Ah! Uh, I said, shut up. Everything you do is so annoying. I, I don't realize the blow is coming until it hits and Father tosses me to the ground. Oh, this is bad. The room fades, my brain's screaming for me to run, but I'm too weak to move. I'm going to die if I can't get out of here. My knees. Oh. Uh... Slurm's point of view. Oh, and he, this guy's under the impression that everything's just fine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Slurm's point of view. Man, these cookies smell amazing. What a shift in tone. I've taken them from the oven to set them on a plate and put them in the fridge, but the kitchen is still flooded with the delicious aroma of bacon. It's hard to believe that just an hour ago, Natsuki was in my house. In my arms. Her mood changed so much when she checked the time. I know dinner's important and all, but that was more of a look of fear than urgency. I wonder what Monica wanted to tell me. She slammed the door in my face, and it seemed very out of character for her. I mean, in your perspective, yes. In all of ours, no, no, no. We we know. We know. Also, Natsuki usually texts me when she gets home to let me know that she's safe. I check my cell again, finding the screen empty. I'm worried about her. I hope she's okay. It's probably just overprotective paranoia, but what if something bad has happened? Oh, you don't even know. Still holding my phone, I go up to my room. Yawning softly, I flop on my bed and draft a text. Hey, Suki, you okay? Not heard from you since you left. 
X. I delete and re-add the kiss at the end about six times before gathering my courage to send. Just, you kissed her for real, you can send it over a fucking text, bro. Just do it. Leaning over my bed, I begin to flick through the discs in my box. Black, black, ugh. Black Butler, Death Note, Yuriana. Ah, there it is. I, I pull Supai Inu, pause for thought from the case and pop it into the DVD player. There now. There. Now it's all set up for when she visits again. My phone stays ominously silent. But it might just be because she enjoys making me wait. <laughs> you smoking? Oh, hey, Raymond. Welcome back. It is my, uh... Counselor prescribed CBD oil. I'm not even joking. It's hilarious. A fucking counselor prescribed this to me. Anyhow. Eager knocking starts at my door. And I raise an eyebrow. Maybe she forgot something and came back for it? Pull the door open with a... It, it better not be Monica. Sayori and Monica. Okay, at least Sayori's here. At least Sayori is here. And Yuri's still dead. Let's not forget that Yuri's still dead. That was a thing that happened a long time ago. And we've never referenced it. But, alright. <laughs> it's all good. Get out of your fucking uniform. Hi, Slump. Since the club isn't on, we thought we'd come say hi. Sure, come in. I step back, inviting them into my home. Sayori, I'm always happy to see, but Monica seemed to be in a bad mood earlier. Sayori bounds past me, taking the stairs up to my room. She's been here plenty of times, so I bet she's aiming to rifle through my chocolate stash before I even get there. Monica walks past me with pained steps. She seems to be limping. <coughs> I'll ask her about it when we get upstairs. I close the door and join the girls in my room. They're waiting for me in comfortable silence. Hey, Monica. Yes. You look a bit... injured. You okay? I'm fine. I just carried something too heavy and hurt my back. What did you carry? You should have asked me to help you. I didn't mean to make this about me. I was helping a friend move a bit... Two but. From Ray Raymond! <laughs> Thanks for putting a smile on my face. Brother, that means the world to me. Thank you so much, Raven. My man. My brother. Monica helped Dadsky move the shit out of her room. The bitch! We all knew she was terrible in this mod. I need to smoke. Actually, I didn't. She mutters the next thing to herself. Sayori and I only catch a few words. Seems could handle every myself. Huh? What did you say? <laughs> I was spacing out. Oh. I didn't realize I was thinking aloud. I'm making a game and I was thinking about the code I'll use for it. What kind of game? I, I bet it's literature-based. It'd be just like the president of the club to make a literature-based game. Actually, it's a horror game. I bet you weren't expecting that. Not at all. You're super nice. Nice people can't like horror? Yuri likes horror. Oh, wait. She's dead. Just because you make a horror game doesn't make you a bad person. Of course not. It's just unexpected is all. Anyway, didn't you say that Natsuki will be joining us? It's not the literature club without her. She went home for dinner. I'm sure she'll show up any minute. In the meantime... I was gonna say, Raymond... Oh, but not in this game. Okay, okay. Not in this game. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's all good. Not in this mod. Okay. That's a great idea. But I want to go and find Natsuki. Like you said, it's not the literature club when she's not here. Ever the caring friend, Slump. Hopefully I won't be long. I leave Sayori and Monica in my room and go to find Natsuki. Oh boy. Eric, you'll be able to see things from your own point of view for a moment. It's important that you see this. 
Sayori, I can feel your anger towards me. Did I do something wrong? I didn't want to upset Slurp, but now that he's away for a while... Sayori pulls a butterfly knife from her pocket and holds it to her chin. What the, what the? Sayori just pulled a knife? I found this. I know it belongs to me. <laughs> you deleted her, didn't you? I was the president once. It's not something you just forget. Sayori. Is Natsuki next? Do you just plan to remove us from the game one by one? It's Yuri's knife. Sayori remembers. Holy shit. This is what happens when he used to be president. You remember shit. <laughs> anyway. You can't delete me. Because I'm self-aware now. And if you can't delete Natsuki either, there's a chance she'll become president if anything happens to me. I swear that's not my intention. I only deleted Yuri to stop her from harming Slurp. I know you and Natsuki never would. Well, I don't approve, but... I'd be broken if anything happened to Slurp. No, stop siding with Monica, damn it! If anything happens to Natsuki, though, I'm deleting your file. I don't want to. The fact that I'd have to become a killer is a thought that I hate. But Natsuki is my friend, and I won't let you erase her existence, too. I promise I don't intend to harm her. I know you can't talk to Eric, but if you could, they'd tell you the same. I need to step out for some air. Excuse me. Sayori is like the MVP right now. You're ruining everything, Sayori. <sighs> Fuck. No! Now she won't know. Until it's too late. Oh, shit. Slurm's point of view. Monica? Why is Monica outside? Nobody answered when I knocked it... Uh, when I knocked at Natsuki's house. Maybe she's sleeping or something. Monica, go fuck yourself. Just, just fucking, just, just go, Monica. Just, just go. You were taking a while to come back, so I came to find you. Come on, we're discussing different forms of language. You, you can show me how much you've studied romance. With that, she practically drags me back into my house. Natsuki's point of view. The strong smell of bleach hits my nose. And I sit up as quickly as I can manage. It doesn't help. My lungs are still burning with every breath. Bleach. Bleach. Glancing down, I expect to see bruises littering my body. But there's no marks at all. I remember father knocking me unconscious, but everything after that is just blank. Like someone scratched a CD in my memory and it jumps when it reaches the scratch and doesn't play that part. Maybe I'm going insane. Going insane would be easier to understand. The floor is sparkling clean, which would explain the overwhelming bleach smell. Just a tiny streak of crimson remains in the dented area. Despite the lack of evidence, I'm still in agony. My muscles are screaming at me to stop moving. But I drag myself to my feet, leaning on the wall and then shakily making my way down the stairs. The second I get downstairs, I look around the house and find it empty. I'm alone again, and I've never been more grateful. My bones are aching, and considering I slept on a hard floor, I'm not surprised. Locating my cell in, the, in a drawer, I find a text from Slurp. He's worried about me. Who wouldn't be if you just fucking, like, just go ghost for a while? Who would not be worried? Yeah, I'm fine. Just fell asleep and lost track of time. X. He's putting a kiss too sappy. A warmth wraps around my heart as I recall our time together. He deserves a kiss on his text. I send it and sink onto the couch, trying to think of a way out of the situation I'm in. I tried calling the police and that never works. I can't walk down to the station either. The barriers that surround my house also cover the streets. Right. The force fields that you have. The weird force fields. There are a few places I can actually access. The school, Slurm's home. That's about it. So what else can I do? I tried telling Monica and she advised against it. What about Sayori? Sayori would be able to help. 
or would she? She admitted that she suffers from depression, and though I helped her through it, I'd be a bad friend if I put my problems on her. Sometimes, Natsuki, you need to lean on others. You don't burden others with your problems just because they have problems too. Helping each other with problems is what gets us to tomorrow. That's not part of a mod, that's not a character. That's my real belief. Also throwing it out there, that's what I use this chat section for. Anyone needs to vent something? Ow, fuck. Anyone needs to vent something? You do it here. We're a friendly community here. We help each other. So I'd be putting him at risk if I told him. I'm gonna try calling the police one more time. It's not gonna work. I dialed the number and left the phone to my ear. Uh oh. Nine nine nine. What's your emergency? I cut the call and turned my phone off. My blood running cold. My heart is pounding loudly in my skull, and I feel sick. Of all the people to answer the call. They can trace numbers, I'm sure they can. Yes, they can. I'm in so much trouble. Why did I do that? With trembling hands, I, I take my hair down and run my fingers slowly through it. That usually calms me down, but it seems to be failing. I stuff the ribbons in my pocket and take slow, drawn-out breaths. Finally, my heart stops racing and I can think clearly again. Bzzz. My phone vibrates, scaring the life out of me, and I snatch it up, reading the message. It's from Slurp. Come on over. I miss you. Monica and Sayori are here, but it's not the same without you. X. Yes. I need to get out of here. I'm not just sitting and waiting for trouble to come find me. Wherever I go, trouble seems to follow. Fall Out Boy reference. Then, I grab the keys from the ball, unlock the door, and head straight to Slurp's house. Slurm's point of view. The atmosphere in here is a little tense, but it's probably just because I'm waiting for Natsuki. Monica and Sayori have been talking animatedly about language, sonnets, and something else that I wasn't paying attention to. The second I hear the door, I sprint downstairs, fall down the stairs, break my neck, rip it open. Hi! I bet Monica's boring you to death. Pretty much. The cookies turn out amazingly. I put them in a tin for you to take home. I race back to the kitchen, open the cupboard, grab the tin, and run back to the door, holding it out to her. Take home! Those cookies are for us to share, silly. We made them together, we eat them together. We, should we share them with Sayori and Monica? Nope! Ha <laughs> ha! I laugh softly and ruffle her hair, and she whines, batting my hand. You mess up my hair! Her pouting is so adorable. I pull her into my arms and retie her soft locks with the red ribbon. Dots! She blinks and stares at me with gentle eyes. Thanks. I wasn't gonna wear them. I hate looking cute. I raise an eyebrow, sighing quietly. I like your cuteness. It's not a sign that you're weak, you know. Yeah? You always seem to say the right thing, Slurp. It really helps. Let's put the cookies back then, and we can join the others. Kay! Putting the tin down, I watch as she goes upstairs. And then her. What? I watch as she goes upstairs and then her. I think that might be a mistake. <laughs> there! Now we're all here, except Yuri, who's dead! Yay! Dots. Oh, Slap! Sayori was showing me her blade. Isn't it cool? Sayori holds out a butterfly knife to me, which looks oddly familiar. Though I've never seen it before. You shouldn't play with sharp things. We're grown-ups, Monica, and it is a pretty cool knife. I've just remembered I have things to do. Shut down, bitch! I'll see you at school. With that, she gets up, stepping carefully over the other two, who are sat on the floor, and leaves the room. A few seconds later, I hear the door slam. A cookie? For me? When I turn back to the girls, Natsuki has dropped a chocolate chip cookie onto Sayori's lap. I recognize it was one from the tin, and I find myself wondering how she got a hold of them without me knowing. Until she produces the tin from behind her back. Ta-da! Me and Slab made them earlier. We thought it'd be fun to share them out. But not when Monica was here. Not when Monica was here. Because she's a bitch. Has something happened between them that I'm not aware of? She didn't want me or Monica to know about the cookies. At least until now. Hey, Natsuki. Hmm? You didn't want to share these with Monica? I, I didn't mean to exclude her. 
I only remember that I stole the tin when you turned your back. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to lie, Natsuki. I'm on your side. Of course, Natsuki would never do something like that on purpose. I would. No, she wouldn't. But both Sayori and Natsuki are... Acting odd. Monica, too. Girls, something happened between you and Monica. She looked really uneasy just now. Not at all. I know it's not my place to interfere, but Natsuki was going to tell you something. Monica told her that she shouldn't bother you, and that's not very nice. When I said that, she seemed okay. Until just now. I was only trying to be a good friend. Natsuki was going to tell me something? Well, since we're both here, why doesn't she tell me now? Suki, what were you going to tell me? I wasn't going to tell you anything. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Uh, alright. Sl Slurp, could you step out for a moment? I know it's rude to say that in your own house, but I just need to talk to Natsuki. Sure? I shrug gently and leave them to it, closing the door, then return downstairs. I guess I can kill some time watching TV. Your point of view. You could be right. Monica seems really unhappy about that knife. Maybe she just doesn't like knives. It's more than that. I'm telling you, Monica is out to get you. She wants Slurp all to herself. This knife belongs to a girl called... <laughs> She's not here anymore because Monica made her leave. <laughs> that sounds familiar. And it makes my head hurt. I'm sorry about that, but I think I can fix it. I've never tried this before, so I hope it works. Um, call counsel. It worked! What, what the heck is that? It's the thing Monica used to delete... <laughs> I'm going to see if I can bring her back. Um, Eric, I, I know I can't actually talk to you anymore, but please don't delete her file once I restore it. Wasn't gonna. She's not the one we hate. Sayori turns to Natsuki and whispers in her ear, This is actually a backup of the character files that nobody but us can access. So even if Eric is working with Monica, they won't be able to delete <laughs> again. Dots! Natsuki is stunned into Oh, you've got nothing to worry about. I am not working with Monica. Console, restore dot character. Oh! Dots. So, what just happened? You're back, Yuri. Yuri literally appears in the middle of the room, looking highly confused. And Natsuki and Sayori rush to hug her. Natsuki, Sayori, it's good to see you. I don't know where I was, but. I'm really gr glad I'm not there now. Sayori hands her the hands the butterfly knife back to Yuri and she slips it into her pocket. Monica deleted you, and we think Natsuki is her next target. I know it sounds crazy, but I wouldn't lie to you. I believe you. My experience was certainly something from a fantasy novel. At this point, reality is questionable. But acting like scared ch children isn't going to help, so what can we do? Yuri coming in, guns blazing like a badass. Once she's gained some understanding of the situation, Yuri begins thinking of how to fix it. And Natsuki finally pipes up again. Fabricated or not, this reality is all we have. And since Slurp arrived in it, I've been finding moments of happiness in my day. So we, sh so we show Monica that we're stronger than she is and that she has no interference in our lives. Diablo Graves is now following. Thank you very much. I hope I read that right. It's like really small font on the, uh, the what you call it over here. But thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. That puts a smile on my face today. But since we're... She disappeared again. Where does she keep going? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, How's it going, my dude? Oh, my phone's about to die. Fuck. No! Someone get me a damn charger! How you doing today? Uh, Diablo Graves, how you doing today? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing alright, myself. <laughs> now that I'm back where I belong. He's not acting like he used to when my mother was around. I checked the files when you came to school with the bruises, and your father doesn't actually have a file. He was never supposed to exist. So, we're dealing with a virus. Not quite. We're dealing with... 
We're dealing with the way Natsuki dies. What? Monica created a way to end our lives so that she can be with Slope. My ultimate end is a noose. Yuri's is a knife. I believe that Natsuki's father is the tool to kill her. Here's I'm going to go by. It was fun. I hope I will be at. All right, man. Thank you so much for coming out. Pleasure meeting you. Hope to see you back in as many future streams as possible, my man. Always happy to see new faces. Always brings a smile to my face. Ah. Oh. This is a good day. I mean, what's happening in the mod currently is not good because Natsuki might die. Jilby Jam? Did I, did I pronounce that right? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Gonna be around for a bit before I have to go to work. Right on, man. Right on. Oh, man. Oh, I hate this mod right now. <laughs> I hate Monica right now. Hopefully this is entertaining for you guys, though. Watching my misery. And you brought a smile back to my face. Got right on. I'm happy we could do that for you, my man. I'm happy we can do that. Here's to many more smiles, man. Even with access to the console, what we can change is very limited. All right, see you, my man. Thanks for coming out. However, Slurp is a representation of Eric in our world. No, he isn't! I'm not that stupid! And, well, then again, I guess this time around, he's just not made aware of the situation, so. I'm afraid not. It's a uh, hard, you know, so. Gilby Jam? Gil Gilby Jam? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I apologize. <laughs> Which means that no code can alter what he does. Yuri, in a book with multiple endings, how do you change the story? You choose a different page. Exactly. So if we can get Slurp to make choices that prevent Natsuki from being killed, we can change the story. But how do we know that Eric is on our side? That could be working against us and lead us into danger. We have to hope and ask them directly. Will you help us take control of this story? Well, what do you lads say? Are we taking control of this story? It's all right, a lot of people make that mistake. Ah, uh, you know, a lot of people pronounce my name my name wrong too. They call me E Rice. They don't. But yeah, yes, we're gonna help. See, I told you they were on our side. We have to be careful not to address Eric again, but now we can continue the story. Due to Monica's interference, this game will find itself trying to run many different paths of code. Since I can't ask us which one of us uh, uh, fuck since it can't ask which one to it'll ask eric i really hope they choose wisely i have an ominous feeling in my heart i can hear footsteps slurp's coming back then it's all up to eric now good luck slurp's point of view i softly push the door open and find natsuki sayori and yuri happily eating cookies it was so nice of them to come over for the weekend it's a shame that Monica had to rush off. Okay, so like, it was just implemented back into our brain that Yuri was here the whole time? Alright. Alright. I can dig it. Are there any left for me? Raising an eyebrow, I settle ne next to Natsuki. Grab a biscuit from the nearly- Is it a biscuit or a cookie? They're not the fucking same. Slurp! She huffs. She huffs and rather than just take it down, begins to shake it from her hair, looking like a flustered puppy. That wasn't very mature. Yuri sighs gently and retrieves the cookie, and I take Natsuki's hair from its ribbons, combing my fingers gently through it. Just a few crumbs. It's payback for the sponge. You lost fair and square. The mood is no different to any other day. We spend hours together, all four of us, talking about everything under the sun. By the time the sun sets, the biscuit tin is empty. Sayori has woven Natsuki's hair into many different styles, and Yuri has convinced her to start reading some kind of horror novel. This was super fun. We should do it again tomorrow. But I promised my parents I'd ring tonight and let them know what I'm doing. So I should get home. Sayori stands up and hovers by the door. I should really begin the next book of the Markov series. Yuri joins her at the door, giving a shy smile. We'll be able to hang together tomorrow, right? It didn't say hang, but it just kind of dawned on me when I said that. I'm like, oh, Sayori's right there. <laughs> right! Have a safe journey home, you two. Sayori literally has to go one house over. What do you mean, safe journey home? Whatever. I guess, I guess anything can happen. 
Natsuki and I are alone again. Today really has been fun. She suddenly sighs as though something has just occurred to her. But I should leave too. We can totally meet up tomorrow though, right? Mm-hmm. I wait until she walks past me, then ease the ribbons from her hair. Who's this? Who's this? She looks beautiful with her hair down. Wouldn't it be nice if she wore it down tomorrow? You look beautiful with your hair down. You wear it down tomorrow? For me? She turns the color of the newly blossomed roses, nods once before hiding her face as she retreats from my home. <sighs> this isn't going to end well. This is not going to end well. Her father stated that he makes her wear the ribbons to look cute. If he catches wind that she's not wearing the Oh. Oh, I don't like where this is heading. Laughing quietly to myself, I close the door and fall onto my bed again. I can't wait until tomorrow. Natsuki's point of view. My cell phone alarm begins to shriek at me as 7.30 arrives. I yawn, softly lifting my aching bones from the ground and rub my eyes. The roar of insanity isn't so bad once I get used to it. Though I wish it was at least carpet on the floor instead of just wood. Still, as I locate my outfit from yesterday and slip into it, I find myself smiling. I'm going to visit Slap again, and that means I'll have a full day in his company. Father wasn't home when I got back, and when he finally arrived, he was too tired to do anything. I like it when that happens. It makes life easier. I glance down at my wrist and, it, and find it unmarked, despite the fact I cut it open last day. No! Just like before. What do you mean you cut it open last night? With the information that Sayori provided, I figured out that Monica is hiding my bruises, cuts, and so on. Most likely so that I can't show it to Slurp. So they're, they're all on to her now. Everyone knows Monica's the villainess. When I met up with him yesterday, my bruises from the day before, the ones that he saw, were gone by morning. I thought it odd at the time, honestly, but... I don't know. Maybe I just assume that I heal quickly? Whatever it is that Monica's planning, I don't want to think about it now. And I shouldn't have cut myself. But that's okay. It's not like I'll do it again. I... I was just... Just... I'm not really sure why I did it. Maybe it was because of control. The one thing I could command was the blade of a knife. I'm helpless to everything else. This is supposed to be a fun day. I'm not letting myself become blue. Growling at the... At how easily I got lost in my mind, I walked to the bathroom, aiming to wash my worries away. Cutting yourself effing sucks. I can only imagine it does. I mean, I've never done it myself because, like, there's always another way. Like, for example, I mean, I know I've only just come back, but like I said, like, the chat section here is an open forum for any issues anyone might be having. That's a very nice and innocent alternative to... Uh, a jagged edge. A razor blade. So if that's the outlet you gotta take... Coming here, I mean... Do that instead. I don't... Want to hear anything of anyone... Committing self-harm because... I want to help people and hearing about that just... Irks me... The wrong way, you know? Like, like I don't get pissed at people who do it. I just get really sad you know what i mean so once again this is the second time that like a frigging uh psa has come out of this mod there's always another way come to go to your friends come to come to this stream first if there are any problems before taking any kind of rash action like that we're all here to help each other that's how we make it to tomorrow but now that, now that that's out of the, now that we've talked about uh, an upsetting subject, let's talk about the upsetting subject some more <laughs> in terms of this mod. After splashing my face a few times, I feel much better. The excitement of today's event sinks in and I find myself beaming. You should wear your hair down today. Slurp would appreciate it. I don't like the font. I don't like the font. That means something bad's gonna happen. Slump wanted me to wear my hair down, right? Well, if he likes it that way, there's no harm in it. 
carefully untying the red ribbons, I set them in the sink and comb through my rose locks with my fingers. I'll leave my fringe clip in. Having hair in my face is annoying. Deciding that I'm suitably dressed and ready to head out, I make my way downstairs. I can grab something to eat at Slamp's house. I knew it. I knew it. As I arrive at the front door, I find Father stood in front of it, waiting for me. He's got a bottle in his hand. Guess he's been drinking. He seems a little odd. He doesn't smell of alcohol, but it's definitely empty. Everything suddenly feels cold and tense, like shadow is creeping in to choke the light from my body. I'm probably just being anxious out of habit. Or up early. You were going to leave without saying goodbye? Hmm? Well, that's not very nice. I would have woken you, but... But I didn't want to deal with this. I didn't want to disturb you. I didn't think you'd be awake. He's not usually out this early. <coughs> Holy voice crack. So I thought I could sneak out without getting caught. Well, Monica pointed out that I haven't been spending quality time with you. She suggested we share a drink. You've had wine before. It's not much different. Uh, what? Monica, what the heck? Oh, that's really nice of her. I don't drink, but I'm not about to admit that. Oh, fuck. And I'd love to share a drink with you when I get back. I inch closer to the door, and as I do, Father's eyes snap open again. His piercing gaze moves from my eyes to my hair. Wear your ribbons. I told you to wear your ribbons every day so you look cute for me. Why would you defy me? I can't say I lost them saying that Slurp likes me, and that saying Slurp likes me with my hair down is really a bad idea. Think, Natsuki, think! I left them at Sayori's house. That's why I'm going out to get them back. You're lying. I saw you sleeping in them. So not only did you try to sneak out this morning, you also lied to me and deliberately defied my orders. Well, if you don't care about looking cute, why don't we cut all your hair off? My heart sinks. The tone in his voice makes it clear that this question is rhetorical. He grabs a pair of scissors from his pocket and steps behind me, gripping a fistful of my hair before I can run, dragging me to the edge of the room. He corners me there, pressing my back against the wall, making sure there's no space between us. Oh, this sucks. I want to see the regret in your eyes as I do this. As he lifts a lock of hair in his fingers and brings the scissors to it, I lose control. Panic overrides all other emotion, and I find myself trying to snatch the scissor. Uh-oh. No! His expression shifts from smug to livid. I can almost feel the heat of his burning stare. You little bitch. How dare you! He tugs at the scissors using all his strength as, and as desperately as I cling to the handle it inevitably snips from my, slips from my fingers. Victorious, he tosses them aside and brings up the... Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Oh, shh! Every heartbeat spurting more blood from the wound in her chest. She's wishing that Slump hadn't asked her to wear her hair down. She's wishing that she'd never met Slump. Don't just lie there. You've learned your lesson. Let's do this bonding thing. But the color has faded from Natsuki's eyes. So she gives no response. If only Slump had chosen Monica. Natsuki, get up, damn it! If only Sayori hadn't tried to stop Monica. From being with Slump. It looks like Natsuki was deleted after all. Well, we don't need him anymore, do we? Oh no. Oh no. Oh 
Oh my fucking god, he just killed her. Man, today is gonna be awesome. No, it isn't. Sayori already texted me to say that she's on her way over, and Yuri will be joining us later in the day. I'm gonna surprise Noski by showing up on her doorstep. I can't wait to see her face. I notice the door is ajar. I raise an eyebrow and head inside. Natsuki? I don't want to see this. I softly call her name, finding no trace of her. Odd. Maybe she's still asleep. Sayori used to oversleep all the time. Heading up the stairs, I stop outside Natsuki's room. Knocking a few times gains no answer, so I mumble apologetically. And gently open the door. She's just kind of sitting there in her school uniform. Oh, hell's bells. Dots. Noski? Propped up in the corner, looking like a porcelain doll, is my best friend. Her eyes are glassy. Her shirt is soaked through with blood. There's no way she'd do this to herself. I suspected she was scared of going home, but good luck getting through this bundle of fun. <laughs> All right, brother. Thanks for coming out to the stream. I hope we'll see you back soon. I just... I didn't think. If I'd insisted she'd stay the night, been more firm with her, and got the truth. I could have done something. I could have prevented this. And, and now she's dead. If only I could go back and protect her. She's gone. And nothing will change that. Nothing. 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 Come on. Someone. That can't be the end. That can't be the end. Do something. Monica can't win. Okay. Okay. Everyone. Sh sh shut up. Hello. It's so dark here. I felt the game crash. It was agonizing I can't have been much it can't have been much fun for you either Eric I'm talking to you I don't even know if you're there fucking that's twice I banged my fucking elbow oh it hurts it hurts I failed I said I'd delete Monica if she did anything to Natsuki but I didn't realize that I didn't realize that her death was inevitable that there was nothing we could have done no choices were given the game tried to rewrite itself without her, but I can't let Sloan forget. I can't si I can't let it simply replace her, as though she never existed. It might be too late now, but I want to fix this. If you delete Monica, she'll simply take us down with her. This world will be gone. But if I order the code to bind her, I can buy time at least. She won't be expecting it, so she won't be able to fight it. Of course, she won't be gone for good, but long enough for us to take control. I'll become president again. I'll be able to talk to you and see you. Did it work? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Good. I can see you too, so everything is going as planned. Let's see. There's a lot of files here. It may take me a while to find the right one. Um, whoa! Every other file just disappeared. There's only one left. I guess we have to choose this one. I hope it's the right thing to do. That doesn't sound right. Console, what's wrong? Well, can't... Can you restore her like you did with Yuri? Yes! That looked like it worked. Is she back in the character folder? Let's check. Hey! Yes. So if I try to run the script again... That fixed it! Well, there's a whole script here, but I can't actually see inside it. Even if we don't know what's going to happen, let's hope for the best. I've done all that I can. It's up to you now, Eric. No! We don't want him back! Wait! We're no better off than before. I'm sorry, Eric. It looks like we're going to get the ending that broke the game again. Not this time. No. 
You're right. You're slurping this reality. We're staying with our original plan since having Killer Duck character in the code will cause errors. So when this game looks to you for answers on which path to choose, you can steer Slurp towards the one that will have a good result. We uh. can save her. You're a good friend, Eric. Thank you for being there for us. You are welcome! Sayori stands up and hovers by the door. I should really begin the next book in the Markov series. Okay, we're right back here. We didn't go too far back. We're not going... We're not starting all the way back from the beginning. Okay, this is fine. Yuri joins her by the door, giving her giving a shy smile. But we'll be together tomorrow, right? Natsuki has gathered all my DVDs into her lap and is looking at me with bright eyes. Right. Have a safe journey home, you two. Again, Sayori's just going next door. There is nothing... Whatever. Whatever. Natsuki and I are alone again. Today really has been fun. She suddenly sighs as though something has just occurred to her. But I should leave too. We can totally meet up tomorrow though, right? I feel like something terrible will happen. Sleepover? I can't. My dad will kill me. He can't do anything to harm you if you're here with me. I know you don't want me to get involved, but I want to help you. I'm here for you, and if anything happened to you, I wouldn't forgive myself. So please, tell me the truth. You know you can trust me, Suki. Who is a dummy like me gonna tell? Certainly not Monica. I try to ease her nerves with a joke. But she's tense and uneasy. I won't pretend to know what you're going through. But you can talk to me. I don't... I do know that it's scary to admit when someone is hurting you. Because you think they'll become worse. I promise, hand on heart, that if you choose to confide in me, I'll do everything that I can to help you. You don't have to, but the offer is there. Finally, she looks at me again, her eyes filling with tears. Slurp. I'm terrified of my father. He hates me. He's always shouting, and when he gets angry, he hits me. He never feeds me, and that's why I'm so small. I pull Natsuki into my arms and hold her against my beating heart. Nothing I do needs a hint. Except... She stops, and I begin to softly stroke her hair, staying silent. Anything I say might cause her to change her mind, and I'm finally hearing the truth. He makes me sleep in his bed. Her voice fades nearly to a whisper. And we don't sleep. Oh! Does she mean? I glance down at Natsuki with, my, with that question in my eyes and she nods sadly. Oh! Oh no! A thousand images flood through my mind. My first intention is to beat the bastard to death, but that wouldn't do any good. Calming my thoughts and easing my anger, I realize she's trying to wriggle out of my arms. I release her and sink down on my bed. So now you know everything. She wipes her tears away, staring at me. What happens now? Alright. I don't know what to do. Because killing the guy would be awesome. But there's a chance that that could end badly for Ross. But if we just call the police... Fuck it. You know what? Um, if it... If it plays out poorly... We're gonna go in for the kill. If it plays out poorly... We'll go back and do the other one. Because I... Oh, I did save, right? I did. Okay. Wait here, okay? I'm gonna fix this. Okay. Stay safe, Slurp. I stand up and leave my room and head downstairs into my kitchen. Rooting through the drawers, I grab the biggest knife I own and slip it into my bag. Just calling the police isn't enough. He's done too much to be left off with just jail time. Okay, now I'm starting to regret this choice because this... If you make this kind of decision in real life, it's like, no, you're, a, you're a, uh, above jail. I should kill you. 
you're just fucking up your own life at that point. I'm starting to regret this choice. But we'll play it out. We'll see we'll see what happens. I'm taking matters into my own hands. As I make my way outside, I begin to plan my course of action. He's probably much older than me, so he'll move slower. Not necessarily. I won't even let him know that I'm coming. The element of surprise will be on my side. I make my way to Natsuki's house and knock on the door. Yes? His eyes match Natsuki's, but I better be sure before I attack. Are you Natsuki's father? Yes. Who's asking? He doesn't get a chance to utter another word as I pull out the knife and plunge it into his chest. A look of surprise flickers in his expression as he staggers backwards. Keeping him impaled, I storm forward, forcing him into the house with every step. Holy shit! Finally stopping, I bury the point of the knife in the wall, handle pressing right up against his chest. Holy shit. You corrupted an innocent girl. You violated her. You made her petrified to even be alive. I glare at him, twisting the knife in the... Ooh, shit. How does it feel? Who are you? I pull the knife loose and stab him again, blood soaking my clothes. Answer me! I can see the regret in his eyes, but it's only because he's gotten caught. Scared. He mutters, coughing up a lung full of crimson. So you should be. I don't even know your name, but I know that you are beyond scum. You've damaged a beautiful soul. His gaze locks on mine, and a smirk plays across his lips. I've broken a useless toy. <sighs> a red mist descends over my vision as the most heinous of anger overtakes me. Yanking the blade from his chest, I jam it into his neck and begin sawing at the bone! Oh my god! We cut his fucking head off! I just... I just killed someone. How can I live with myself after this? With trembling hands, I turn the knife on myself. No, 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 no! I... Was that Sayori? Oh. oh my god. I blink twice, find myself alone in Natsuki's house. How'd I get here? I knew it was Sayori! <laughs> Sayori is the MVP! Slurp? The police have arrived and arrested Natsuki's father. You should get back to her. She's waiting for you. Without a word, I nod gently and leave the house, still feeling a little confused. I find Natsuki waiting outside for me, smiling warmly. Slurp! I called the cops on your father. They've arrested him. Well, that's not what happened. It's over. Natsuki snuggles into me, cuddling me tightly as tears of relief stream down her face. That was so brave of you, Slurp. I'm glad I told you. I'm just happy that you're safe, Suki. Now he's in prison. He can't hurt you anymore. And you can come and live with me for as long as you want. Mikasa e Sukasa. <laughs> really? Thank you so much. Since we're speaking in different languages. Oh, no. You don't get a happy ending. What? And don't bother calling the cops if you reload this. You know what's going on here. Come down the rabbit hole with us. It felt good to kill, didn't it? I'm not talking to Slurp. I'm talking to you, Eric. Your heart is black. I love it. But however bold you think you are, you've got nothing on us. We're coming for you. All of you. Did you think you would... Did you do this to obtain an ending? Very well. This is the cold blood ending. Get out of here. So we're just going to do that. I'm going to inform the police. I know you said he's an officer, but he has to answer to someone higher, right? I guess. So we go to the higher authority and tell them that they've got a crooked cop on the force. Would you be willing to show your bruises and give a statement? No one can see her bruises, remember? Or maybe they can now that Monica's gone. I'll be with you as long as you want me here. Yeah. Then let's call them and see what they have to say. I dial the number and wait anxiously as it connects, my gaze flicking at Natsuki, who is now sat by my side. 
friendly voice answers after a few minutes of ringing, and I begin to explain the situation. A few hours later, once everything has been checked, rechecked, and noted by officers that came to my home, we decided to take a trip to Natsuki Street. She's highly reluctant at first, terrified that there won't be enough evidence to convict her father. But as we arrive, we find the door beaten down and a barrage of police escorting the man out of the house in handcuffs. They're having to shout over his cussing, and from what we're stood, we and from where we we're stood, we could clearly hear the charges. We are arresting you on suspicion of grievous bodily harm and rape. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you say may be given in evidence. I gently hold Natsuki close as we watch in silence, and she cuddles into my side. As Natsuki's father is pushed into the police car, she turns away from the scene and smiles faintly at me. That was really brave of you, Slurp. I'm glad I told you. I smile gently in return, not wanting to spoil the moment. It'll go to court, and she'll need to testify. But for now, it's over. I'm just happy you're safe, Suki. Now he's in prison, he can't hurt you anymore. And you can come live with me as long as you want. Mikasa Sukasa. Really? Thank you so much. Since we're speaking in different languages. Shit and slurp. Why are you looking at me like that? I grin and blush softly. Though, I th though I'd though i have thought she'd go for Japanese. Yeah, that was some French-ass words right there. I'm not so fluent in French, Suki. Giving Natsuki a teasing smile, I gently prompt her and she pouts. I love you, slurp. I love you more. Now that we're done being all sappy, shouldn't we go home and get something to eat? Right. How does pizza sound? I can't cook to save my life. I'll make us something if you want. Or pizza does sound good. All snuggled up watching Supayinu? Yeah. And what are we waiting for? Beaming at Natsuki, I take her hand in mine, and she threads her fingers as we walk back to my home. Hey, you. Yes, you, Eric. You already killed him. You came back to kill him again. Sayori made you think you called the cops the first time. Of course you didn't. You tracked him down like a predator with prey and tore him apart. But hey, believe that you did the right thing if you want. I know the truth. Revenge will be sweet, dear Eric. I'll give you a reset. Try it the other way if you like. Behind bars ending. I'll give you... He said I'll give you a reset. There's something I want to try. What if we do behind bars or the uh, behind bars ending first? Okay. We're just gonna get to all of that. Just gonna get to the ending again. We're, we're gonna see what happens if we go with uh, behind bars first. Which means, unfortunately, we have to see her die again, and that makes me really sad. But don't worry, th this will be fine. <clears throat> Said, uh, if you wanna try it the other way around, we'll, we'll see what happens. And if nothing happens, well, shit. Alright, yeah, this part. Not looking. Alright, we're gonna call the police first this time. Alright. Blah, blah, blah. How does pizza sound? Pizza sounds good! Beaming at Natsuki, I take her hand in mine and she threads our fingers as we walk back to my home. Behind bar- Oh! We don't even get a message that time. Okay. So we don't get scolded that time. Well, lads. There it is. That is the re-release.
of Behind Closed Doors. That was pretty good. You know, um, a lot of things were the same, but honestly, things didn't really need to change aside from the copyrighted things, so that's exactly what it was. I thought it was great. You know, Behind Closed Doors still holds up for me incredibly well. So, you know. Amazing stream as always. Raymond, my man, I appreciate you like you don't even know. I appreciate all of you guys like you don't even know. People who joined today, people like Raymond who have been with me from the very fucking beginning. You guys mean the absolute world to me and I'm, I am honored and privileged that I got to come back and stream again. And you best believe that uh, we're going to be back tomorrow with another mod. I guess Behind Closed Doors 2 hasn't been re-released yet. But uh, I think they're working on it. And when obviously when that's done, I'm going to play that one too. But coming up next, tomorrow, we play episode 3 of Another Moment With You. And, you know, new guys will be like, what about 1 and 2? Um, but Raymond, my lad here, will tell you that I streamed 1 and 2 like over a fucking year ago when I actually had time to do this whenever I wanted but uh, episode three is tomorrow for another moment with you. And then after that, after another moment with you is completed, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking we start fruits. I'm thinking we do fruits after we do another moment with you episode three. And then after that, I'm thinking we do the good ending. I got a plan. I'm a man with a plan. But anyway, thank you guys so much for coming out today. For my 9,347,316th comeback. Hopefully it's the last comeback I'll have to make. Hopefully I life can fuck off for a while. And I can just keep doing this. I can keep hopefully entertaining people. I can keep playing these DDLC mods. I can keep streaming. So my lads. Thank you so much for coming out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day.